Absolutely. Exercise can be extraordinarily beneficial both as a way to prevent an illness from reoccurring and as a way to treat an illness if you actually have symptoms right now. I think the best evidence is probably for depression and anxiety disorders, but it can really help in terms of alleviating a lot of symptoms. We know that a lot of evidence shows that actually anaerobic exercise, so exercise where you increase your breathing and your heart rate goes up, can actually be as effective a treatment for mild to moderate depression as can a medication. So it actually increases serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter that's often deficient in people who have depression or anxiety. So it does exactly the same thing a medication does. It increases serotonin levels. We also know that mental illness is often very isolating, and so if you can be part of you know, a group exercise activity, again, a running program, you know, yoga with friends, anything like that that's organized, forced social activity, that can really help minimize the sense of isolation that can come with having a mental illness. And so that really, again, helps alleviate some of those symptoms and makes a person feel less isolated and alone. You know, it becomes really complicated when some of the symptoms of depression are that you have fatigue, you don't have a lot of energy, motivation can become a challenge, and so this seems counterintuitive to starting an exercise program. So I would say if you can make exercise part of your life when you're feeling well, this can be a tool to kind of help keep you well and to help minimize symptoms of depression. If you're unwell, and this is something that you know, I often get asked by friends and family, what can we do to help? This is really an area where support from friends and family can really be essential. And so organize group activities with a buddy that you know is going to come and really motivate you, get you out, get you active. And so it's something that you can do with friends that can be really motivating. Of course, obviously the other piece is that if you have active you know, significant depression, it's going to be very hard to engage in anything. So make sure that you speak to a healthcare provider to ensure that those symptoms are being treated properly. If you need a medication, taking that medication will then make it easier for you to engage in other activities like exercise that can help you get well faster and perhaps stop needing a medication.